Hi folks, this is question 9. We just need to plot the or give the coordinates of the point A and the point B for the first bit. So A we go remember you go across first on the x axis first. So minus 1 and then uh, 1 is the y coordinate. It goes across to minus 1 up to 1. And B is the point 4, 1. It goes across to 4, up to 1. D is a point. D is the image of the point B under central symmetry in the point P. Plot and label D. So the point P is there. So really we're going to P. So that's kind of one box across, or one box to the left and two boxes up. So I'm going to do the same thing again then, from P, I'm going to go one box to the left and two up and it gets me to there and that's what the point is going to be. So that's the point D. Or you can kind of, if you use a ruler as well, go 2P and then go the same, the far side. Kate says the quadrilateral ABCD is not a parallelogram. So ABCD. So A to B to C to D. So obviously it's not a parallelogram, doesn't look like a parallelogram. To be a parallelogram, the sides opposite have to be equal length. Uh, yeah, well all the sides opposite have to be equal length. And the opposite angles are equal as well. Right, so we have to prove it though. We have to show the distance from A to B. So we're going to use the distance formula here twice. So I'm going to show it for a from a to b first. So the point a is minus one one. And the point b is point four one. Made a mistake there. They wanted the point C. There, that was. I'd say some people would have done that in a hurry as well in the exam. So the point C is actually the point five four. We go across the five up to four. So I didn't. I was rushing there. Right. So we're going to use the the formula for that anyway. So that's x one y one, x two y two. So. Uh, 4 minus minus 1, so 4 plus 1 squared plus uh, 1 minus 1 squared. And that will give us, you can use calculator there. So we get 5 in the end. Now I'm going to do it for CD, from C to D. So I use the same formula again, but I'm using the points 5, 4. That's the point C, and the point B is 2, 5. It costs the 2 up to 5, so 2, 5. So now, same formula. Uh, x2 minus x1, so 2 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 4 squared. And that will give us 9 plus 1, so that will give us root 10. And then root 10 is not the same thing as 5. So uh, yeah, therefore now they wanted us to explain as well a little bit. So you could just say um, A, B and C, D are the opposite sides. of the quadrilateral they needed to be equal in order for to be a parallelogram that doesn't look like the word order but 
that's what I mean anyway. So A and B, A, B and C, D are the opposite sides of the quadrilateral. They needed to be equal in order for it to be a parallelogram. So to be a parallelogram, sides have to, sides opposite have to be the same. That's all for that question.